Hey guys, how often do you need to share files between your Android and computer? Cloud backup is nice, but this isn't always the best idea, especially when it comes to limitations like file size. So if you're at home, why not just backup or download files using your home PC instead? In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to your home PC as a network share using your Android device. And I'll also be showing you how to use your computer to access those files on your Android wirelessly. But before we get started, here's how to make sure that your network file share is enabled on your PC. From the Windows Start menu, look for Sharing and then click on Manage Advanced Sharing Settings. Then under Private Networks, make sure that Network Discovery is turned on. And don't forget to check set up network connected devices automatically. Last but not least, make sure that file and printer sharing is turned on. All right, now let's jump to the folder that you wanna share. Right click the folder and click properties. Then jump over to the sharing tab. Click on the share button and you'll see that your Windows user might be added there already. But if you have a local account that you use to log into your PC, you can add that one here as well. Just make sure that you give both read and write access so you have full control of your PC files from your Android. Now click the share button. One additional step that might help is to make sure that share this folder is checked under advanced sharing. All right, now we're gonna jump to our Android device and open up the Play Store. The app we're gonna look for is called CX File Explorer, which is free and has no ads. Once you get it installed, let's open up CX File Explorer and jump to the Network tab. Here, we're gonna find our computer from the home network to access the shared files. Click on New Location and then select the Remote tab. The easiest choice here is to click local network. And within a few seconds, your computer should automatically appear. If your PC was found, you can click it and simply add your username and password to connect. But for some odd reason, if your computer was not found, you can click on manual input and either put the full name of your PC or its IP address on the network. So if your share was added to the network list, it means you're successfully connected. You can now start going into your PC's network share to access any files or folders that you need. If you wanna try copying any files from your computer to your Android device, just navigate to them on the network and then long press or select what you need. Then click copy. And then after that, switch to the local tab and click on main storage. Then just navigate to where you want the files placed on your Android device and then click paste. You should see those files appear after the download finishes. And now what if you needed to copy files over from your Android to your PC instead? This is super easy as well. And there's actually two ways that you can do this. Let's go over the first approach, which is more straightforward. With the local tab selected, let's go to a file or folder on your Android device. Just long press or select the files that you need and then click copy. And this time we'll do the opposite where first we're gonna jump to the network tab and then inside our PC, navigate to the shared folder. Again, just click paste and you can now see each file appearing on your computer. But if you wanna use your PC to access files on your Android, the second approach is to transform your Android into an FTP file share. And you can actually do that using CX File Explorer. From the Network tab, click on the yellow plus icon, which is called Access from Network. And after that, just tap Start Service. And at this point, your Android phone becomes an FTP server. Just make note of this FTP address because that's how you'll get to the files on your computer using the username and password that are shown here. And to access these files, just go to your PC and start Explorer. You'll wanna navigate to the FTP address shown on your Android and then enter those username and password credentials. 
and now you'll see files from your Android on your computer. And you could transfer any number of files that you want easily. One of my favorite parts about using an Android is you can use CX File Explorer to stream just about anything from your home PC. And especially if you're using VLC Media Player because you can literally stream any media file that exists, period. This includes movies as well as any type of music that you might have on your PC with any file type. CX File Explorer lets you choose which app you want to use when streaming or opening files. And another cool part about copying files over from the network is multitasking. So if you're copying a bunch of huge files, which can take a lot of time, you can run the copy operation in the background and continue using your Android. Once the download or copying is done, CX File Explorer will send you a notification. So hopefully this helped you quickly start sharing files between your Android and home computer. Thanks for watching. And for more on Android and file sharing, please consider subscribing to this channel.